What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We have to solve this limit here. Limit as x approaches two of 125 minus three plus x in brackets to the power of three all over x minus two. Now notice if we do a direct substitution here, if we plug in two for x, notice we're gonna end up getting zero at the top and then zero at the bottom. It's gonna be in that indeterminate form. So unfortunately we can't do a direct substitution. We're gonna have to go about this in a different way. And there's actually a couple of different ways you can do it. One way is you can expand the whole numerator and then factor it and then try to factor out an x minus two. But the problem is, is that this three plus x to the power of three, there's gonna be three brackets to FOIL out. So that's going to be a lot of work. Another way that you can do this is, if you notice this 125 minus three plus x to the power of three, Notice we could rewrite this as five to the power of three, right? The third root of 125 is five, minus three plus x to the power of three. And then notice that now this here is a difference of cubes. So remember what's the difference of cubes formula? a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b, and then a squared plus a b plus b squared, like that. So if we relate this to this, notice that the a value is five, and then the b value is this bracket three plus x. So now what we could do is we could plug in this a value and this b value into this formula, and watch what's gonna happen. So we're gonna have five minus, in brackets, three plus x minus the b value. So this and this are the same, and then, <clears throat> What we would do is we would take a squared, which would be five squared, which would be 25, plus a times b, so five times three plus x, uh, plus b squared, which would be three plus x squared, like that. Okay, so this numerator, another way to write it is like this over here if we factor it uh, as a difference of cubes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this limit and I'm gonna rewrite that numerator like this. And then notice that over here, five minus three and then minus x. So five minus three would be two. So we'd have two minus x, this bracket here. And then over here, you can expand all of this, but I'm actually just gonna leave it because What's actually gonna happen, you could expand it if you want, you just risk making more of a mistake then, is this, a, por a part of this bracket and then the x minus two at the bottom are actually gonna cancel out and then we're just gonna plug in two for x. So we could just plug in two over here for all of these x values and then just simplify from there. We don't have to expand all of this. Really what we care mostly about is this bracket over here because that's what's going to cancel out with the x minus two. But notice we can't cancel it out yet. What we gotta do is we gotta factor out a negative from this bracket in order to get it the same as x minus two. So. If we do factor out a negative, it would end up being negative two plus x, which we could rewrite as x minus two. All right, so I kind of skipped or I did a lot of steps on the side here. So you may want to write a couple of lines of what I just did. If you want to keep writing the whole limit, just kind of sort of saving room on the whiteboard here. But notice that now the x minus twos cancel out. And now we could plug in two for x. So we'd have this negative in front, it's like a negative one. And then we'd have 25 plus, three plus two is five times five is 25, plus three plus two is five to the power two is 25. So this would end up giving us, uh, we would end up getting negative 75. So that there is the answer to this limit. So I was just recognizing that this is a difference of cubes and then um, just getting this bracket could be uh, tricky, and then even recognizing of how the x minus twos cancel out. So a fairly unique limit.